Hey guys, it's me again. In today's video, I'm going to do a review of the Sony 50mm f2.8 macro lens. So as you can see, I have this lens on the table right now. Um, the first impression when you actually first touch it, you can feel that this lens is solidly built, okay? And if you actually press hard to it, it doesn't make any sound at all because it's really tough and when you shake it, it won't have any sound. Um, it's made out of plastic, but the quality of the plastic is really good. Um, this lens has a 55mm, 50, if I'm not wrong, 55mm thread. So if you are investing in a filter, you've got to get a 55mm. I have actually a filter on it right now. Yep, but um, it's a cheap UV filter just to protect the lens. Although you may not need to invest in money in I mean, invest money in buying a UV filter because the you actually can see the glass is actually inside. It's actually um, lower inside instead of on the top. It's inside, so if you get what I mean. Yeah, so um, I don't think you actually scratch onto a lens unless you are really careless. Yep, so anyway, I just brought the UV filter just in case something went wrong. So, as you know, this is a macro lens. It's good to have the full and limit over here. The full actually allows you to focus to the full focusing distance. As you can see, it extends quite a bit over here. But if you set it as limit, it actually limit you the focusing distance. For example, if I limit it over here, you only can zoom out. I mean, focus until here, and you can't pull it back anymore. And you can move. Uh, focus again to the front as you can see so if I actually uh, set it to full again I'll be able to drag it back again yeah and if I set it to limit it will extend onto here and it will stop and it will move back yeah so that's it uh, it's pretty good to have the limit if you are not doing macro photography when you are shooting outside. Like maybe you use these times for street photography, which I do a lot. Uh, it will be very helpful as it won't try to focus. Um, you will focus faster because you don't have to go on to the long distance of focus uh, focusing distance. Um, this lens is of course made in Japan and you actually notice that this is actually a metal mount lens, which is pretty good. You see that I keep it in great conditions and yeah. so uh, overall I think this is a pretty good lens um, the focusing speed is average it won't be very it isn't really that fast because it's, uh, it's actually a screw driven lens it's not the hypersonic motor uh, lens HSM from Sony so you don't expect um, very silent focusing from it so if you are doing video with this lens, I suggest you actually invest in a mic, probably a, a wireless mic because if you get actually, uh, actually if you get the for example the road video mic, you will still be able to hear the focusing sound of this lens. But I must say this lens focus quieter than the kit lens on on the Sony Alpha Fifty Five maybe, and yeah, if you actually want to invest in this macro lens I think that you can actually look into it because I think it's quite worth it to buy this lens um, and it's an f2.8 lens if you don't know and I think it's a pretty good lens but maybe if you it depends on your style of shooting macro photography if you actually think that longer focus range will be better for your macro photography maybe you can look into the 100mm f2.8 macro lens from Sony or maybe the cheaper alternative, maybe the 30 or 35 mm f2.8 macro lens. You also can check out the Sigma or maybe some other brands for those lens. But overall, I think that this is a pretty good lens. It's solid, solidly built. You won't have any sound if you actually shake it and press hard onto it. All in all, I'm really impressed with this lens. And yeah, at the end of this video, I will give you some uh, sample shots of the. Uh, of the shots taken with this lens. If you want the focusing speed, you can click it somewhere over here, I think. I'll put the link over there, and the link over here will be the uh, video quality with this lens. 
So all in all, I'm pretty good with this lens. I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to thumbs up and share it with your friends. Uh, I'll do some um, other reviews if possible if I manage to get them. And yeah, so this is the video for today. I hope you guys like it.